Hello everyone and welcome to my classic druid guide. In this guide I'm going to talk about the talent trees that I use at max level but also when I'm leveling, the rotations, the pre rebis gear and the spells that I skip to save gold for my level 40 mount. First I will cover the leveling talent tree that I use from level 10 and all the way up to 60 and I always level as a feral druid because you have way less downtime compared to any other spec and as a feral druid you will therefore level a lot faster. If you plan to also do dungeons when you're leveling as a feral druid then I would recommend you to swap the 5 points in feral aggression into fake height because the armor bonus will help you a lot when you have to tank as a feral druid in different dungeons. And if you're wondering at what level I pick each talent then you can see it right here. If you decided to go with fake height instead of feral aggression you simply spend the points at level 15 to 19. But if you decided to follow the talent tree that I showed you in the beginning, then you can also use this when you reach level 60 and you have to start doing dungeons and raiding. Your talent tree as a level 60 tanking druid will look a bit different compared to the leveling spec. And the reason for this is because you get more defense with a talent tree like this. However, if you prefer to heal at level 60, there's two talent trees. The first one here is mainly focused on reducing the mana cost, so if you don't have that great gear, a talent tree like this might be useful. As you get better gear and a higher mana pool, then you might also not need to reduce the mana cost. Instead, you would like to focus on doing more healing to the raid group, and that's why I would recommend you to maybe use a talent tree like this. Last but not least, we also have the Boomkin talent tree. And if you plan to raid or do dungeons as a boomkin, then I would recommend you to use this talent tree. Next up is the rotations that I do when I'm leveling, but also at max level. At level 10, you will be able to do your druid quest for bear form. And when you unlock bear form, all you have to do is to use maul all the time from level 10 and all the way up to 20. As you level up, you will also unlock more abilities. And if you plan to tank in a dungeon, I would recommend you to pull the targets with a fairy fire feral, followed by a demo shout and then you use a maul. If there's more than one target, then I would recommend you to replace maul with swipe, because swipe is a great way to do AoE damage and this is also amazing when you pull a lot of targets. By the time that you reach level 20, you will also be able to unlock cat form. The rotation will be to use either 4 or 5 claws. This will generate combo points and then you use a rib. When you get to around level 30, the rotation will change a little bit. Now you will pull a target with fairy fire feral into a rake, 3 or 4 claws into a ferocious bite. If you would like to do a high amount of damage on pull, you could also stealth and use ravage. Then you just use a fairy fire feral, a rake, 2 or 3 claws into a ferocious bite. By the time that you reach level 60, the rotation will change completely. At this point, you will use Shred two times in a row, followed by a power shift. So where you reform into a new cat form, then you use Shred two times in a row, power shift, Shred, and then a ferocious bite. The reason why a power shift is because we have a talent, and every time you reform into a new cat form, you generate 40 energy. On top of that, you can also combine it with this helm to generate additional 20 energy. So now you have a total of 60 energy every time you reform into a new cat form. As a healer, there isn't really a rotation. Regrowth is a decent way to do a bit of healing and a healing over time, but the mana cost of this spell is so expensive. If you use regrowth just for the heal over time, then I would recommend you to use rejuvenation instead because rejuvenation costs way less mana, but also do more healing every time it ticks. I would also recommend you to always have rejuvenation on the tank that is taking damage. But be careful, before the tank is pulling, I would not recommend you to pre-hurt the target, because that way you might pull aggro and die. Another healing spell that you will use frequently is Healing Touch. It has a long cast time and also a high mana cost, but it also do a high amount of healing. This is a great way to get a target from low health to high health. If you decided to go with one of my talent trees, you might also have picked the talent Swiftment. 
And this is a way to do an instant heal as a druid. All you need to do is to either have a rejuvenation or a regrowth on the target and then you can use a swiftment to do an instant heal. If I like to be efficient with my mana, I can for example use a rejuvenation and wait for it to have a few seconds left. As it's about to expire, I can then use a swiftment and I've done as much healing as possible and spent next to no mana. Nature Swiftness is a talent in the healing tree and no matter what healing tree you followed, you'll still get this talent. Nature Swiftness will allow you to cast the next nature spell instantly. I like to combine Nature Swiftness together with a healing touch to do a high heal instantly. As a boomkin, the rotation will be to spam Starfire. There's no need to use a Moonfire because this will just do a global cooldown and also do way less damage. And Wrath you don't need to cast because Wrath is nature damage. And most of your pre-rate biz items that I will show you in a moment is items with arcane damage. So Wrath will not benefit from these items. Before I show you the pre-rate biz items for all the specializations, then I'll show you the spells that I skip when I'm leveling. And this is to make sure I have a higher chance of getting my mount at level 40. The first three skills are usually only trained rank 1 or maybe sometimes rank 2 to get a better CC or a better combat res. But else I recommend you to skip rank 3 and higher. Rip I don't train if I level as a healer or a boomkin. But in case you're leveling as a feral druid then I would recommend you to skip wrath, moonfire and starfire by the time that you're level 10 or higher. Next up will be the pre-rate biz gear. First I'll start with feral tank then Feral DPS, Rester Druid and Boomkin. And in the timeline you can also easily skip to the part that you're looking for. There will not really be any voiceover and most of this gear is collected either in dungeons but you can also buy some of this gear on the auction house or craft it with professions. Alright, so that's about it for today. In case you would like to see more class guides or how I make my gold for my mount at level 40, make sure to check out the channel. As always, thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day. Peace.